activate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Fluffy Wonders. Driving at night is so much fun. And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa, what was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm, I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye bye Rita! <laughs> Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika, Debo, and Tabs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, who were they? We better go find out. Hey, Blippi! Mika! Over here! Can you help us? We'd love to help. The name's Boom. We're looking for something that we need, but we can't remember what it's called. And I'm Benjamin. The thing we need is kind of shaped like this, but with a less bouncy stick. Whoa! Whoa! Boom's away! Whoa! <laughs> Like this. I'll get you out, Debo. 
Looks like you gotta shake it up. Oh yeah, shake it up. <laughs> Whoa, purple. No, yellow. No, oh hi, Blippi and Mika. I'm Barry. Can you help me find something? <laughs> sure, we would love to help. It's usually red. Red, got it. But it can also be purple, or orange, green, or every color. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? Hey! <laughs> Hello! I'm blue. I need the yummy for my tummy. You're looking for something that tastes good. It's a yummy and makes me feel happy inside. Oh no! Hugs? <laughs> What's that? No, it's not that. Not that either. Was it. Boomsicle? Whoa! <laughs> oh, yay! Flippy and Mika, I'm Babel. Can you help me find this word? Let's sound it out. Something sickle? Tricycle? Bicycle? Whimsicle? Good idea, Tabs. Let's review our notes. It's rectangular and has a stick. It's frozen. It could be any color. It makes you feel happy. And it sounds like something sickle. Hmm, this is tricky. Popsicles! <laughs> you were looking for popsicles. Yeah! yeah! Hey, who are you all? Boom! Benjamin, Barry, Blue, Bubble! And we are the Curiosity Crew. Wow! I got the answer to my question. Who were they? They are my new friends, the Curiosity Crew. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Woohoo! I hope Grandpa Blippy gets his birthday card in time. Hmm, I wonder, how does a letter get to where it needs to go? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and follow the letters to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. I wonder where all these letters and postcards are going. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Lana the Letter. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <coughs> Lana, we're wondering, how do letters like you get to where you need to go? <coughs> Whoa! What's happening? We're moving one step closer to our destinations. <laughs> Just stick with me. <coughs> Whee! Ooh. Ooh. Everybody, hold on! We're in for a bumpy ride! Lana, where are we going? We're being transported! Whoa! To Grandpa Blippi's mailbox? Not just yet, we're at... Oof. The post office! Whoa! The post office! So cool! Whoa! <laughs> now... It's time for us to get sorted. Sorted? How? First, by size. Just think like a letter, Blippi. Huh, yeah. Wee <laughs> Once us letters and packages are sorted by size, we are sorted to face the same way. Woo! Hey, that tickles. And then the letters are scanned for their stamps. Oh, no. But what if I don't have a stamp? I got you covered. Yay. Wait, where's Debo? <laughs> He's probably enjoying the ride, just like us. 
There you are, Debo. Where are we going now? To the mail truck! <laughs> the truck takes every letter to the exact mailbox it needs to be delivered to. So cool! Next stop, Grandpa Blippi's house! Whee! Bye, Lana. Thanks for helping us get around the post office. Bye, Blippi and Debo! What have we got here? A birthday card from Blippi? Hot dog! Aw, he loves it! And I got the answer to my question. A letter gets to where it needs to go by being dropped in a mailbox, transported to the post office, sorted, then delivered by a mail truck. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It would be fun to have a dinosaur as a pet. Hmm, I wonder, would a dinosaur make a good pet? Good thinking. We'll go back in time to find out. I'm gonna need the grabber arm and monster truck wheels. Grabber arm, monster truck wheels, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Mobile is ready for adventure. That's right, we're in the Cretaceous period, millions of years ago when the Earth was filled with dinosaurs! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi there, Blippi! I'm Tina, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hi, Tina. We were wondering, would a dinosaur make a good pet? An animal that you love and care for. Wow, being a pet sounds amazing. Maybe I could be your pet for the day. Can you drop Debo, please? Debo's made of metal, and we don't want you to break a tooth. Good, Dino. We sure do have sharp teeth. I use mine to eat. Whoa, do you eat a lot? Feeding is an important part of having a pet. I can bite off 500 pounds of food in one jump. That's a lot more than I have here. Hmm, let's try a trick. Great idea, Debo. Go fetch, Tina. Sometimes I forget my size. Us T-Rexes can be as tall as 12 feet high and up to 40 feet long. Wow, that's so big. Hey, let's go for a walk, Tina. Whoa, look at all of those teeth. tells me that's not how a walk is supposed to go. We gave it a try, but I'm not sure if dinosaurs are meant to be pets. I think you're right. We're meant to rule the jungle. Yep, and you helped find the answer to my question. Would a dinosaur make a good pet? Dinosaurs are big, have lots of teeth, need room to roam, and eat a lot. So they might not be good pets, but it's still fun to imagine. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye, Tina. Bye. Come back in time. Edit time. Whoa! Bouncy sand dune. And even bouncier. Wow, what an amazing sandcastle. Wave incoming. Oh, no. Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. 
Huh, I wonder, can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tebs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down! Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Whoa! Hi there! I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you! Ooh, crikey! I don't know my own strength! Hi, Krabby. It's me, Blippi. And this is my Blippi mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right, Crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So, the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So, let's dig. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. Wow, what a hole. Now let's build a sandcastle. You're right, Tabs. We are going to need a shovel. Finished. Success. You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat. And best sandcastle ever. Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to hmm. catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> Woohoo! Ooh, time for bed. Aw, but we're having so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, why do we have to sleep? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Benjamin and Debo. Well, hello there. Are we all ready for a bedtime story? Not yet. We need to go through my bedtime checklist first. Pajamas? Yeah! Check! Brush teeth? <laughs> Check! Okay, Mr. Book, we're ready. Our slumber saga begins with two familiar friends looking for fun and adventure. Ribbit! That sounds like Debo! Oh no! It is Debo! We gotta save him! Blippi and Benjamin to the rescue! Whoa. Our heroes could not begin their adventure without a good night's sleep. <sighs> Maybe we should rest first. <sighs> good idea, Blippi. They soon found that sleep gave them the energy to scale any obstacle, however mighty. Wow! I feel great! Look out, mountain! Here we come! They danced. <laughs> and they leapt. Until they reached the top of the mountain. Hmm. We're coming, Debo! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa! whoa. Ah. Ooh, that was a close one. <sighs> Maybe if we push the boulder in the hole, we can walk across it. But the energizing effects of sleep were starting to wear off. <sighs> it's no use. Maybe we should rest. Our daring duo woke up with rested minds and strengthened bodies. I feel stronger. Look, we grew bigger too. <laughs> 
night. But there was one more obstacle for our duo to tackle. Hi, Bella. Would you mind moving so Debo can get down? I don't want to move. I'm grumpy. I think Bella needs a nap. Let's all take a nap. Okay, fine. I feel great. Me too. That nap made me happy. Woohoo! Time to hula hoop. <laughs> that day, Blippi and his friends learned that sleep is the secret ingredient to happiness. <laughs> wow! That was awesome! And I got the answer to my question. <gasps> Why do we have to go to sleep? Because it gives you energy, makes you big and strong, and makes you happy too. Upload answer, Debo. Good night, Blippi, Debo, and Benjamin. Sleep tight. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> And look at those super long whiskers! Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs! Let's follow that kitty cat and find out! I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Ready for adventure! Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa! What was that? Hey! It's me, Blippi! What's your name? He please the name, and treats are my game! Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> Holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. <laughs> Yeehaw! Woo! Flawless. How do you land so perfect? My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this! Ha -ha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi! It's so dark! How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Snackpod! <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh. Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye-bye, Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. 
Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun. Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity. It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. Devo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards the island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right. Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Evo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Tebo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Tebo. Drink up. <laughs> wow, these colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, huh? can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? <laughs> Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? 
No! You have reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Devo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Nemo! Oh, no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's do this. All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is awesome! Whoa. How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering so I can turn all four wheels at once instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! I nailed that! Megan, that was and I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> You look like a fireman! 
<laughs> now you look like a construction worker. <laughs> You're a natural cowboy, Debo. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, what is it like to be a cowboy? Let's find out. I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Uh, uh, hey, do you know any cowboys? Whoa. Whoa there. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Hampton the Horse. What brings you two down to the for? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn what it's like to be a cowboy. Well, you certainly rode into the right ranch. Giddy up. But first, we've got to get you looking the part. All right. I see you got your hat on, partner. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Blippi, grab yourself a hat and a bandana. See, cowboys wear these wide rim hats to protect themselves from the sun and the rain. Ah, much better. Now you looking good. Yeah, cowboy! But they're also useful for gathering water when you need a drink. Cool! Woo! Whoa! Uh-oh! <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> cowboy hats are also good for moving a cow in the right direction. Yeah! Here you go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> hey! No worries there, Blippi. Being a cowboy is so much more than just having the right clothes. Like what? Riding horses is a big part of the job. It's how cowboys got around before corn, and it allows us to herd cattle without scaring them. Hop on. Let's ride! Maybe we should slow down. Oh, I think I'll stick to the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> That's actually perfect, since we have loose cattle to rank. We gotta spread out and move in the direction we want the cows to go toward the pen. Yeah. Ah, this way. Let's get a wiggle on. That means let's go. Yippee! <laughs> well done, Blippi. You wrangled those cows like a real cowboy. Being a cowboy is hard work. Sure is. But it makes the day worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping me find the answer to my question. <laughs> Cowboys wear big hats, ride horses, and wrangle cattle. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for making us feel at home on the range. Anytime, City Slicker. <laughs> Yeehaw! Whoa! Look at all those adorable penguins. Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around. Wow! I think those penguins are flying. Wait a minute. Those aren't penguins. You're right, Debo. I don't see any penguins flying. Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers. Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky Day! Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Gangway! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> we were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah. It's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. 
All right. Here we go. Whee! Ice fly detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Whoop. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the shimmer stripe iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it. <laughs> Whoa! Not this one. No shimmer stripes here. Whoa! Woohoo! Where could it be? Whoa! It's the shimmer stripe iceberg! Yeah! Woohoo! Here we go! Whoop. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, Debo! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, yeah! Whoa! Whoa, hey, dudes! <laughs> to my question. <laughs> Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes! Bye, Pepper! Wow, I love our cool Flippy Mobile. You're right, Debo. Our car does have amazing things. Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Back in time! <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! We just traveled back over 100 years! I wonder whose house this is. It's mine! My name is Blippy. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippy. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am! Come here, future Blippy great grandson! <laughs> Grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seatbelts? Okay, let's go! To the top of that hill! Now down we go! Oh no, Debo! Whoa! 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 Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it, cars only had two seats, and you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. 
Bye, Great Grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. <laughs> ah, Italy. What a cool country. Someone's got the tummy rumbles. I am feeling hungry. Great idea, Debo. Let's get an authentic Italian pizza. <laughs> Ciao! Did someone say pizza? I'm Paola Parmigiano. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika and Debo. <laughs> Hi, Paola. We love a slice of pizza. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, I have some bad news. I'm sold out. Oh. But I could help you make a fresh pizza of your own. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make pizza? Come on in. All right. I'm going to need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Shrinking down. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, let's get this pizza started. The first step is kneading the dough. Huh? Kneading means to press and fold the dough like this. Ooh, ooh. This strengthens its structure. Woohoo! <laughs> Whee! Wow! The next step is to stretch the dough until it's the proper pizza shape. Everyone, grab an edge. One, two, three! <laughs> Look out! The next step is to cover our stretched out dough in the sauce. All right. The next step is to put on the cheese. Huh? The sauce is hot lava. <laughs> now it's my favorite part. Choosing toppings that you love to make the best pizza ever. How about mushrooms? Olives coming through. Our smiling pizza makes me smile. Me too. It's time for the last step. Are you ready, Bleepy? Ready, Paula. Time to bake the pizza. But you have to be very careful. The oven is hot. Careful. Careful. Yeah! Delicioso! Thanks for answering my question, Paula. Pizza is made by kneading and stretching the dough, adding sauce, cheese, and toppings, and then baking it all in the oven. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Ciao for now. Ciao, Paula. Grazie for the pizza. Bye bye. Mmm, yum. These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious. Oh, what a mess. Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling. Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, Devo! I think I know that fly. It's Horace. Hi, Blippi! How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? Oh, it's easy. Watch this. Ta da! Wow! Yes, sir. -y. The ceiling is my own personal dance floor. Skip it, bit it, bit it, bit it. Now you try. 
Here goes! Whoa! Why can't the blippy mobile stand on the ceiling, too? What's the trick? Here's the trick! You've got to stick! Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some. Don't mind if I do. Here goes. I stick to the ceiling, too. Look at all that mess! Oh! Oh! The glue has a stuck in place! That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist! The fly leg twist? That's right! Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk! Like this! Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist! Do the fly leg twist! And get your feet unstuck when you go like this! We did it! And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. Well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi! Bye-bye! Mmm, I love chocolate! Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? <laughs> oh, right! Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm, I wonder. How are chocolate bars made? Great idea! We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm gonna need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft, prop engine confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! <gasps> You're not Cocoa Beans! I need them so we can start making chocolate bars! <laughs> I'm not a bean, it's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! Hi, Blippi! Hi, Debo! <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar. Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. Our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. <laughs> no, but it'll be fun. Chocolate Bar Debo. After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready! Ta-da! Whoa! You both look alike. And I have the answer to my question. How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, look at those ducks floating in that pond. Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, 
Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky ducky! Here, little ducky! Whoa! Big ducky! Hang on, Debo! Hey! It's me, Blippy, and this is Debo! Well, hello there, Blippy and Debo! I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond! You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, uh, us ducks do paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right, we have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. It's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. See again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa, is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon. Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry, we have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So, ducks float. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Me too! I love looking at spooky houses decorated for Halloween! Wow! Look at all the jack-o'-lanterns! Let's go check it out! Hi, Flippy! Yikes! <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Pumpkin! You scared me! You're welcome, Flippy! I love to be scared! It's fun! <laughs> It is? Hmm, I wonder, is it really fun to be scared? Only one way to find out! Let's have a scare contest! Hmm, hmm. okay, let's do it! Yikes! <laughs> score one for Team Pumpkin! Team? I don't see anyone else. Uh, yikes! <laughs> oh, hi again, Bones! Team Pumpkin! Come on, Bones! Let's plan our next scare! Hmm, we have to come up with a good scare, Debo. What can we do? Huh? <gasps> I have an idea! I'll wear this mask and stand on your shoulders while you howl! <laughs> Let's go! This is gonna be good! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Score one for Team Flippy! <laughs> you got us good, Blippy! Yeah! Nice work, Debo! Whoa! 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 Cool! A secret hallway? Huh? Oh boy, this is really going to scare them! <laughs> Boom. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's two points for Team Puppy! The next 
team to score a point is the winner! Yeah! Hold on, Debo. I have an idea. Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out and scare Mr. Pumpkin and Bones. Hey, Bones! Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out to scare Blippi and Debo. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> I guess it's a tie. <laughs> All right. Halloween is the best. But I still don't know the answer to my question. Is it really fun to be scared? <laughs> yeah! yeah! All right. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for an awesome scare contest, Mr. Pumpkin. I had a lot of fun. No problem, Flippy. I had a lot.